What's good, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Audio Pipe APMI 2000, 2000 watts. Um, this app, it pretty much, if you ask me, any Audio Pipe app is is where you want to go. Um, they kind of underrated. They are one of the few amps that actually do um, the their rated RMS. You don't really care about the wattage. You know what I'm saying? The wattage is really not what's really important. The RMS wattage is really what you want to match to your subs. Like, if your subs push out a thousand RMS, you want them in an app that pushes out a thousand, maybe twelve hundred RMS. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for the money, one hundred and seventy-one dollars. This app is pretty good. Obviously, this app is the mini version. This is not the actual. Um, this is not like how other audio pipes look. They're really longer. But it's the mini design. Um, so first I'm going to get into the rating and tell you why I'm giving this a rating. I'm giving this a rating of 3.9. Maybe a good solid 4. And the reason why is because this is a really good app. It, it pushes my... I have two American Bass XDs. You know, a 1,000 watt a piece. So that's 2,000 watts. And that's a 1,000 watts RMS. 500 RMS per speaker. So... This app is really good. True, actual zero gauge inputs for your um for your wires. You know what I'm saying. You know we also have a. You know, you got the subsonic low pass. You know, bass frequency and bass boost. Which um me personally, I really wouldn't, really wouldn't touch the bass boost. Maybe the frequency. You know what not here and there. And you could actually. Have this bridged into another audio pipe app, which is for really awesome. You know what I'm saying? You can have these things hooked up into, you know, uh, hooked up into each other, which is pretty awesome. You know, remote knob, whatnot. So, the reason why I'm giving this a four is because one huge failure, one huge failure, and that is product design. Um, all other audio pipe apps, even the older style and some newer style, have the vents on top right here as you can see these are where the vents would normally be um the vents for this specific amp that or the specific series the apmi the vents are on the bottom which really sucks because by the time that i figured that out the amp kept going into protector kept cutting off so i spoke to my cousin and he was like bro what are you talking about so after a while he's like bro no your amp get way too high he was like your vents probably at the bottom True enough, we took it up. Vents are at the bottom. Uh, so this right here can really is a huge setback for the app. Um, you really have to have this thing ventilated. Um, if you don't have that, have some fans on it. Because by the time you figure out that the vents are on the bottom, this thing will be overheated, you know, when it's a protect because it's suffocating. And it's not your fault, you know what I'm saying? It's not like they tell you, hey, the vents are on the bottom, or you should just know that. Me, personally, I thought the vents were on the sides, you know what I'm saying? Some Somewhere, some slotted holes were right here, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, they're on the bottom. And, uh, yeah, you can suffocate the amp and cause damage to the internal parts that are inside the amp. So you want to be careful with that. But other than that, this amp, audio pipe amps are amazing. They do what they're supposed to do it pushed the subs amazing for the time being but i recommend when you buy audio pipe apps you get that um the ones that have the vents on the top that's just me so that way you won't have to worry about uh, ventilation or buying extra fans or things like that um, so just just get the ones with the vents on the top you know right here and you should be good to go